Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. I swear, King's Isle has something out for me, right? They have some kind of vendetta against me. Because two days ago, I made a video on how Dragoon gear broke the balance of the game. And I was like, oh, those, the gear is so good, you know, best gear in the game. We're probably just going to have to wait until we get new gear for, you know, new stuff to happen. And then not two days later, you know, I lay down, I'm trying to go to bed, you know, just uh, bundled up in my blankets, all nice and comfy at like six o'clock. I know my sleep schedule still messed up. Then I get a ping from my discord saying, Noah, everything is on fire. The test realm is out. And I'm like, oh God, I guess I got to get up. And I got up and I I was like, okay, what, what's going on? The test realm's out. And what do you know? King's Isle has completely changed everything. Now, the next few videos I'm going to make are probably all going to be test realm videos, but the gist of it is test realm is out and they've made quite a few changes. Today, I want to go into the gear changes they made specifically to Merciless gear because Merciless gear is completely different now and meta has changed completely because before there was the obvious meta where it was Dragoon Hat, Dragoon Boots, Dragoon Amulet. Then you had something like the Supreme Staff or something along those lines, have a gold trim out, you know, have a triple double pet or whatever. And then people would either use the executive ring and the Morgantha theme, or some people like using the Merciless theme. But the point is, is that's kind of what the same setup is with the Malice Air robe obviously being the number one robe. Now, I'd just like to say, I didn't expect this to change for like another, I don't know, like a year or so. I expected this to be the meta for, you know, a little bit longer because usually we get gear all at once, right? So we have all of the Malice Alistair gear at 100, we have all of the Dragoon gear at 130, and I expected we would have all of the next gear set at 160. But King's Isles just really likes proving me wrong, so today we're here and I want to go over the different new Merciless gear and talk about what I think is good and talk about what I think is kind of an upgrade, all that. Also, uh, I'm going to need to turn down this volume because I'm not going to be able to focus while listening to that water fountain in the background the whole time. You know, in fact, I'm actually just going to turn it off because I literally can't think. All right. So here we are. I'm going to just use the Demiurgis gear because it is literally identical to the Merciless gear to prove my point. But I want to go over gear piece by gear piece and kind of elaborate on what I've noticed. Now, before I get into this, I want to start with one thing. The main idea for gear in this game that people have, and I think the best way to go about it, is you want to have max accuracy. So you want to get over 100% in that. So like, for example, death needs 20 accuracy to get to that. So 20 accuracy. We want 100% power pip because obviously you don't want to be pip failing at inconvenient times. So that's good. Then you want damage and you want resist. That's kind of the hierarchy for most schools. Obviously damage is technically first, but usually you want the 100% there in power pip and in in accuracy. I just realized I don't have the Dragoon gear on my death, so let's see if I can pull up someone else who has Dragoon gear. Okay, I couldn't find anyone with Dragoon gear to base it on. Since I have technically the Merciless gear already, I can kind of show you that. And the reason why this sucks is I can't go into the crafting tab because otherwise it will crash my game. Let's test that theory. Yep, my game's gone. Whoa, would you look at that? I'm back and now I'm on my myth because now I can actually see compared to the Dragoon gear. So let's get into it. Let's go over the basic kind of gist of all the gears. So for the hat, I would say the main thing that you want to point out here is that you are sacrificing power pip chance for resistance. So in the case of certain defensive schools, say as ice or say as balance, something along those lines where you want a new offensive gear, you don't want to use the Dragoon hat because the Dragoon hat does not give you resist. This is an option. So you can see it's actually really good. It gives four more damage than the Dragoon gear for myth, and it gives eight more resistance. That's actually quite the massive upgrade. And you can see the other stats that changes are kind Kind of minor like it has five accuracy compared to seven it has power pep rating doesn't really matter merciless has slightly more crit as slightly more pierce you can see it doesn't really matter i think the important thing to note about this and the hat in general is that again minus power pip now we'll get into why that doesn't matter later but i would say the hat is a pick and choose whether you want to upgrade and it's a matter of whether resistance is more important to you than power pip and whether you can still get up to that 100 percent now the huge thing here this is the biggest thing in this update in my opinion, is you can finally switch off of Malastare Robe now if you want to. Obviously, for about 50 levels now, Malastare Gear has just been the best robe. Like every school, Malastare Gear is just the best. Obviously, there is some replacements in the form of Tennyson Gear, but realistically, for most schools, it's just not even worth actually upgrading. Now, Merciless offers you a new opportunity. You can actually see here the robes now give damage, which is huge. You can see they actually give slightly more damage 
college or most schools, and they have new and kind of interesting stats to them. So the important thing to note between these two, the Merciless has much more health than Malastare, 800 to 1000 for most schools higher. It doesn't have Power Pip, so that's important to note. It has, on average, I've noticed about three less resist for every single school. Some schools are a little bit higher, some are a little bit lower, but it is three resist. So you're going to be sacrificing a little bit of resistances. The Merciless has higher damage now, it has higher crit, shatter rating a bit higher. The accuracy is a major tank, so that's important to note. If you don't want to sacrifice accuracy for a lot of schools, it's not worth switching. And I'd say the biggest one for this is actually Storm. For some reason, Storms is just not that much better at all. You can see it has 20, like 20 less accuracy. Obviously, Malastare kind of needs a bit of a nerf for Storm. On top of that, it has less damage, I believe. I believe Malastare Robe has 27 damage. So it's like for Storm, there's really no reason, but for other schools, there's actually a little bit of a reason. And one of the other important things is that it actually gives Pierce. So if you're looking for a Pierce setup, that is important. So Merciless Robe, is it worth upgrading? This is important, actually, I would say. For certain schools, it definitely is. For example, Ice, their robe, their Malastare robe only gives 13 damage. If you're looking for a more damaging setup without sacrificing many other stats, like you're only sacrificing three resist here, this is actually really, really solid, especially if you can get up that accuracy. For the schools where the robe gives less accuracy, so Ice, Life, Death, Balance, Realistically, it's not that bad of an idea to switch because you can get accuracy jewels, all that. For fire, myth, and storm, where it all gives an extremely high amount of accuracy, might not be worth actually switching off of that. But you can see here, it's actually kind of worth it. I know my friend plans on switching to the Merciless Ice Robe because the Merciless Ice Robe is genuinely good. It gives like nine damage higher. It gives almost a thousand health more. Realistically, it's actually a pretty good idea to switch on most cases now which is just solid. I'm glad that we finally have a robe improvement. And obviously the improvement on the robe is only for some schools. Some schools you can see it's not really as worth it. Like Storm, it is literally not worth it at all to upgrade from Malastare robe. But for certain schools like Ice, potentially Myth, you can see, I, I'd say the accuracy debuff is a little bit much. So I don't know how much I would go for that. Death actually might potentially be a pretty good one. You can see here that there's actually a lot that could potentially benefit a lot from this robe. So robe I would say is maybe worth upgrading. All right, now we come to boots and I'm just going to say it right now. Boots are not worth upgrading in the slightest. The main difference between the two is power pip difference and merciless also gives pierce. But the biggest thing is, is you're going to be losing out on that sharpened blade potent trap, which just is not worth it. So in the boots case, I'm going to say for every single school, not really worth it, but it does give a lot of damage. You can actually see the merciless now gives higher damage, like decently by far compared to Dragoon gear. Like for myth, you have 37 and 30. 30 compared to 26 and 32 and then the six bonus so it's actually a little bit more worth it in terms of damage but you can see the other stats like it gives less resist realistically i would say in this case it's not worth it for most schools. Just losing that sharpened blade and potent trap just isn't worth it. So that's what I'll say for the boots. Next up is the wand and the wand is actually pretty good for quite a few wizards, I would say. I'm going to say this, right? The main reason why you wouldn't want to switch to the new merciless wand is if you have the fossil hunter, fossil avenger gear, just any of the fossil stuff from the primeval horde pack. The reason is, is that obviously the best setup for that is wand and pet when you combine the two, you get that set bonus, which is just really solid. Like getting that extra damage. Like I have six extra damage here. Technically my wand gives me like 25. It doesn't give me 19. That's the most important part about it. But if you do not have that, these wands are genuine upgrades. Like you can see 24 damage for myth. Really good. 133 crit. Really good. Biggest thing, it gives Pierce as well. It's actually really good. And you can see the Merciless gear also gives a block. I'm not going to say that that's like super useful, but it's pretty damn decent if I do say so myself. Like for example, my death, I'm probably going to get the new Merciless wand on my death because it is actually genuinely an upgrade. So I would say wand, depends on if you have the fossil hunter gear or whatever, but otherwise massive upgrade. Next, we go into the Athame and Athame and Ring are the biggest thing in this update. I can't stress this enough. They are huge. The new Merciless Athame finally gives power pip. And why this is so important is the reason why we haven't switched off of Morganth gear in a lot of cases is that power pip. We don't want to lose it and go below 100. But now it gives power pip. You can see here there is an 100% chance I'm going to switch to this on my myth. It gives 
almost 700 more health, which is insane. It gives more power pep now, which is crazy. It gives two more damage and it has the same gear slots. We finally, after 50 levels, have a definitive Athame upgrade and that is fantastic. And this is true for every single school. You can see every single school, it has power pep. Every single school it has more damage. You can see like in this case of Storm, it has 22 damage. That's really good. For Fire, it has 21 damage. That's really good. This is going to be an upgrade for every single school. And I'm so happy that King's Isle decided to finally do that. So Athame, definitely cop. Next up, we have the Amulet. And Amulet, I'm going to say, is not worth upgrading for just about any of them because you do still want that Dragoon Amulet. And it's probably still going to be better to use that for just about every school. You can see, I believe before, didn't they, didn't this give like Ship of Fools? So it looks like they actually reworked the spells on it. But I will say it's, it's just not worth getting this in just about any case. Like the resist just isn't good. The amulet just isn't worth upgrading from Dragoon. Next, we have the ring. And again, this is huge. The ring now gives power pip. You can see right here, look at this right now. This is the executive ring with power pip. This is crazy. It also has a tier and circle slot, which is so good for adding extra peers. You can see right now, this is a massive upgrade to the alpha and omega ring, which obviously it should be. It should be 60 levels higher. But if I was using the executive, I believe myth's executive gives 15, 88 crit, and then that 400 health or 300 health, whatever, but it doesn't give power pip. This power pip is a massive, massive upgrade, and we're going to be having a lot more power pip to work with here. So definitely worth getting this. And you can actually see some of them give like up to 19 power pip, like life skill is 19 power pip. That is really, really good. Next up, we have the decks and nothing really changed about the decks. I don't think anyway, you can see it's pretty good. You know, it's just a good deck might be worth crafting it or getting the merciless deck, but that is that. And that's kind of what it is. So looking at the overview of the gear, that is every single thing. Let's talk about my general thoughts on it. And let me turn back on the sounds now that I can walk away from this fountain. So I'm going to say it right now. This update is huge and it's one of the biggest updates we've had on gear in a very long time because it's going to mean a lot of people finally are going to farm for new gear and are going to want new gear, right? Because it's actually really good. So I'm going to give my overview on what you should switch here and what I think the new PVE meta is going to be. For the new PVE meta, I think we're still going to have Dragoon, Hat, Boots, and Amulet. I think the reason for this is, is that set bonus is still really good and you still want the Dragoon Boots and the Dragoon Amulet. So you might as well go for the Dragoon hat as well. On top of that, it also gives power pip, which is just really good. I think that's still going to be the meta for just about every school. The only difference may be things like ice balance death who want that resist on the hat. I would say that's the one exception. The robe is going to be a pick and choose depending on school as well. For myth and fire, I'm probably not going to upgrade because I do like having that accuracy and power pip, but I will say it might be worth it for certain schools like ice, for example, a hundred percent worth it to upgrade to merciless because not only does it give like 10 more damage, it also gives like 800 more health. It's just overall going to be much better for you as an ice. So I would say pick and choose for robe as well. For just about every school, merciless is going to be a really, really solid wand, especially now that it has pierce and a lot of damage. I would say that that's probably the best part about it. For fire, especially, I would say the fossil vendor stuff is still going to be your best bet there. So it's not going to be worth switching off that. For Athame and Ring, it is very much going to be Merciless from here on out. Merciless, Athame and Ring, what they just did to it is absolutely crazy and just a very interesting and new thing. We're going to be using that over Morganth and whatever you're using as a ring. Executive, Alpha and Omega Ring, Morganth, Aphrodite, whatever ring you're using right now, it's probably going to be replaced by this Merciless Ring because it is very, very good. Gear slots are good as well. That is going to be the new meta and we're probably going to see about a 10 damage higher increase on average for most schools in my opinion. It depends on what school it's going to be, but that's probably what you're going to see from most things, especially ice is actually going to get a like a bit of a buff here, I would say. That robe is just really crazy. Like you're only sacrificing 3 resist for like 800 more health and 10 more damage. That is a really crazy sacrifice and massive gains. So I would say that is the major thing this update 
And to end this off, I just want to talk about something interesting that I have noticed. Fire and Storm for a long time have been in this kind of contentious state, right? Where Storm is supposed to be stronger, but they started making Fire stronger as a result. This is something I've mentioned in the past in my Fire's but like broken video, whatever I said. I said, I think Fire is too powerful. It shouldn't be more powerful than Storm in terms of damage. Well, I think King's Isle listened to me here because I want to show you this. This is very interesting. For every single gear here in Merciless, you can see Fire has less damage than Storm. And this is true. 41 compared to, I believe it's 40. You can see here you have the hat, which is 32 compared to 32. So it's the same. Robe is 24 compared to 20. So that's actually like a, you know, a big difference. You have 26 on the wand compared to 25. The point is, is that Storm now has more base damage again. I think King's Isle listened to us as a community and went, okay, Storm shouldn't be lower than Fire and Storm is probably having less reason to be played now. So they changed it. They changed it around and I'm willing to bet you're going to start seeing more storms with higher damage than fire again, which is just interesting and actually a little bit relieving to say. And it definitely makes me a little bit more interested in storm again. I'm not going to lie to you. So that is what I'm going to leave it off on and leave it off on there. My next upload, I'm probably going to focus on the new spellament changes because obviously the new spellaments are going to be worth focusing on. There is a lot of changes in that regard, but that is an overview of the new gear. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. I think this is a massive, massive change. Like this change is huge. We're going to see a completely new PVE gear meta, uh, probably a completely new PVP gear meta, especially since a lot of the Merciless gear gives a lot of Pierce. Like Pierce is going to be an insane stat now. Like right now, I only have like 20 Pierce. I'm willing to bet after this, I'm going to have like in the 30s and most PVP sets are probably going to have 40s and the 50s. That's really, really crazy. So let me know your thoughts on the gear changes below. Otherwise, that's it. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Adios.